Hello, mystical light beings, and welcome to Lena Mystic, where we embrace our spiritual awakenings by identifying our personal power and authentic selves. I'm just here to help you to decode spiritual signs and synchronicities so that you can get on your authentic path of purpose. Those of you who don't know me, I thrive on helping people to live at a higher vibration and I share my journey with you all so that we can all learn the same things together to get on that high vibration, that high frequency so that we can manifest the things that we desire and we truly deserve. Today's video is just, you know, let's just feel the energy. I really want to tap into the energy of the Buck Full Moon, July 23rd, 2021. Those of you who are watching it and that's not, you know, it, you're watching it well after the Buck Full Moon, this message is still for you. So don't click out of this. This message is for you period. I really want to tap into how this buck full moon is all about transformative energy and growing from the things that we've learned in the past and growing from, you know, a low vibration to a higher vibration and overall just growing. And the reason why it's called the buck full moon is because this is a time of year where the buck regrows its antlers better, stronger, more prominent than ever. And I like to think of that similar to our blessings and how they will be better, stronger and more prominent than ever. This is going to be a mass transformation that is going to take us from one step to a completely different step where we are just so high in vibrations that it's something that we haven't experienced before and it's setting the pace for the future and setting the pace for our present even. I'm really happy to get into this video because I feel this different energy. I'm looking at 111 right now and that's actually my birthday, January 11th, <laughs> 111. <laughs> But uh, it's just, it's an amazing energy that we're dealing with right now. And I want you all to know that no matter where you are right now, no matter when you're watching this video, your life is changing for the better. You are ascending to a higher vibration and you truly deserve it. So today I'm going to be using my Moonology deck, my Mystic Mondays deck, my Fairy deck, and my Ethereal Visions deck. And we're just going to really just figure out what's going on, uh, see what the cards can tell us, what our guides can connect to us and let us know that is changing or transforming in our lives. Those of you interested in connecting with me for a mystical tribe full moon gathering, you all can go to my website, lenamysticoracle.com to become a part of the tribe and do this, this monthly full moon gathering. It is this particular one, July 23rd, 2021 is only $11. That's 50% off of how they normally are and or how they will normally be <laughs> and those of you who want to book an intuitive session with me can also go to my website lenamysticoracle.com and go to services and then you will see a list of different services that i provide as well as i sell crystals palo santo sage white sage mostly right now and all types of cool items so go ahead and check out my website see what more i can offer to you and let's get into this reading so we're focusing on how our lives are transforming right now and this this moon energy that we have wow so our lives are transforming because we are finally stepping into our confidence the confidence is the key to our success we're stepping into our confidence and the end of a tough cycle is approaching so anything that we've been dealing with and this was actually in my uh newsletter this week that i just sent out the end of a tough cycle we are seeing this tough cycle as all that there is right now but there's so much more happening behind the scenes that we haven't seen and our guides are saying you're not seeing the big picture, but there is a bigger picture. You're learning a lesson right now. So receive that lesson so that you can bring it onto your path to purpose and so that you can ascend to that higher vibration because you need that knowledge to ascend. It is completely necessary to learn right now so that you may ascend to a higher level of vibrations, therefore attracting higher frequency blessings, okay? That is beautiful. That's what this full moon is doing. Whew, that's beautiful. Step out of your comfort zone. Things are completely changing. You're being asked to step out of where you've been. This is the ascension that we're talking about. Right before you have an ascension, you are pressured into taking that next that next step. And it's it's uneasy for a second. You're you're kind of being forced to be kind of uncomfortable in this place that doesn't allow you to grow anymore. This has to do with jobs, this has to do with homes, this has to do with relationships. You are pushing towards that next level, whatever that next level looks like for you, you're pushing towards that next level, stepping out of your comfort zone, trying something different, and finding something that fits. 
that's what's happening. You're finally finding something that fits. You're finally restoring the balance that you need. And a lot of people are like, oh, this this job was perfect for me. I was learning so much. I was doing so great. And then they realize it doesn't fit me anymore. That happens very often. It's very normal. And I like to use plant analogies as like how you get root bound. So let me explain what root bound is. I really believe that we as humans get root bound in this dimension very often we are in a place just think of a a a plant and how you have to change the pot every few years because the roots have grown so much okay so think of that plant that you know just a year ago it was doing perfect in this one pot it was growing so much abundantly growing and things you know the leaves were coming through and it was just growing taller and everything was just beautiful And then you start to see the leaves wilting and the leaves falling off. And you're like, what's happening? What's happening to my plant? It was doing so great a year ago. I've been fertilizing it, feeding it, and giving it the water that it needs. Why is it not growing? Because it's not enough space for it to grow anymore. It's outgrown that pot. So now you must take it out of that pot, put it in a new one. It's not going to be comfortable for that plant at first. I promise you it's not going to be comfortable for it at first. But then it realizes that... I'm no longer in the cocoon anymore. Like, I know I'm using a lot of analogies. You guys are probably like, she's tripping. But I'm no longer in that cocoon anymore. Now my wings can spread. Now my leaves can grow. Now I can grow taller because I'm in this new space that's allowing for more growth. I've already grown as much as I can in this little pot or this little space or in this job or in this home or in this community. Now it's time for me to expand. It's a great and lovely thing for you to expand, guys. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, I look at myself and I'm like, oh my goodness, I was doing so great. What do you mean I have to ascend again? Like, (laughs) what do you mean I have more shadow work to do? It's overwhelming at first, guys, but I promise when you finally get out of that cocoon, when you finally get out of that shell that you've been so comfortable in because you were growing so much there and you realize you're not growing anymore, when you step out of that comfort zone, you'll realize your wings will spread further than they ever have which reminds me once again of the buck and how those antlers like oh my god my antlers are gone like i didn't want them to go they were so lovely and that's how you're seeing it i don't want my antlers to go but then they grow back stronger and better than ever and you're like this is why things had to end this is why those old antlers had to grow had to go and be released okay so right now we're releasing this stagnant energy we're releasing these things that don't resonate with us anymore and we're vibrating at a higher frequency because we deserve it okay that was only three cards for (laughs) y'all i did not know i was gonna be going in like this today okay but wow wow that is some lovely energy that we're dealing with that is some lovely energy i'm loving it for all of us because we deserve blessings we deserve to expand in life Once again, we've got a new beginning card. Page of Wands is all about new beginnings and using what we've learned in the previous stage of our lives to move forward and actually exploring the different areas. I'm not saying that just because you stepped out of your comfort zone the first day you're going to find exactly what resonates. I'm saying because you stepped out of your comfort zone, you will eventually find what resonates with you. And it may not be the first day. It's going to take some trial and error, but that is just how life is. Accept that and know that you're learning and know that your guides are proud of you for stepping out of there and exploring what truly resonates with you. You will be blessed abundantly. The Wheel of Fortune is all about cycles and it's so crazy because all these cards are saying that this cycle has now ended for you and now you are expanding from a caterpillar to the cocoon stage and now to this butterfly stage. It's so funny because I saw a post yesterday that talks about how nobody really talks about the cocoon stage where you're, you're just in this hole, you know, you're, you're struggling right now. You're like, I don't know where I'm going. I know where I was at. I feel kind of comfortable there. Why am I stepping out here? It's scary. And then you realize now you're a butterfly and it's one of the most rewarding experiences. And that's where you are right now. And you're kind of in that cocoon stage where you're like, you can't see anything. And your guides are saying, see the big picture, or I can see the big picture, that's why I'm guiding you. And you're like, but this is uncomfortable for me, I don't like it. Your guides are saying, in this cocoon stage, think of where you have been and what you have learned, because now things are bigger, brighter, more lovely than ever experienced before. You are being blessed on such a huge level that it's something that you never even asked for or imagined for yourself, because 
God, the divine source has so much bigger plans than you have ever had for yourself because you can't see that big picture. And it's okay that you can't see it, but your guys are still kind of saying like, see the big picture. There is a big picture. Okay. They're letting you know that this small image that you're seeing will be expanded upon because the divine has touched it. That, that image has been touched by the divine. So things are going to get bigger and better than ever. I really hope that I'm speaking you know a language that you understand because i'm thinking about it and i'm like what am i even saying but i did ask my guides to guide me through this message which is probably why i'm not really understanding what i'm saying until after i say it but uh let's get into the rest of the message because your girl the girls she's she's really tapped in right now <laughs> So unity, wow, the card of unity has been coming out the last two days. I did a reading for someone else um, yesterday. I did three readings for other people yesterday and the card unity came out one time and the cards balance kept coming out and I'm like, this buck full moon is restoring the balance. And if you think about it, for the bucks, their antlers do restore balance for them. It creates balance for them, just like the cat's tail restores balance for them as well. So, yeah, let's, let's see what this is giving. Princess of Spring, Ten of Summer, The Dreamer, Five of Autumn, and Unity. Okay, we're going to start with Princess of Spring. Charming, self-confident, passionate, restless. Immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage, a passionate relationship. So a lot of us are stepping into passionate relationships with ourselves and others, with our jobs, like things that are just going on in our life. We're starting to learn passion and resonation and alignment in our lives. And I see something coming up for you fast, which this means that for a lot of you, you will be moved out of somewhere, whether it be your job, out of a mindset, whatever it is, you're going to be moved out of something, which I've already said we're going to an ascension, so it makes total sense sense you're going to be pushed out of somewhere and it's going to take for uh, uh immediate action immediate action is basically going to be required at this time and you have everything that you need for it so don't be too shy don't be too nervous don't be too scared because you have your ancestors your guides the divine pushing you and guiding you on this journey and you also have them walking beside you so have that confidence confidence once again is a key to your success know that your guides are pushing you and helping you and guiding you and also have faith faith and confidence are really similar to the same thing to me I feel like they equal each other so have faith have confidence in yourself your guides the divine your ancestors all of this divine presence have faith in it then you have ten of summer an emotional fulfilling life with family or friends raising children wisely and people you can trust so on this new journey that you're experiencing you will find new people you will find new happy experiences you will find Find joy and you deserve it once again I keep saying you deserve it because a lot of us have felt like we've messed up in places in our lives but we still do deserve to be blessed we still do deserve to have great things okay no matter what other people are saying and you are giving like this very magical wing energy um, even butterfly energy a lot of us may be seeing yellow butterflies right now uh, if you haven't checked out my butterfly video it tells you exactly what the uh, color meanings mean I think yellow is about optimism and joy and happiness happiness and that's what's being brought into your life this this real happiness not the I have to force it or I always have to say affirmations to be happy that's the only time I'm happy but more so you're living a naturally happy life although affirmations are very important but you know if you're doing the affirmations and you're only feeling happy during the affirmations I want to say that you'll be feeling happy afterwards as well you'll be feeling this joy throughout the day and it's beautiful because you're finally finding things that resonate with you in this stage in this cycle of your life queen of cups is about your intuition being stronger and you really being guided by the universe you see how her hair is the universe you're seeing that you are truly connected to the divine and you're being guided and allowing even the stars to guide you and everything five of swords normally gives me the energy of fighting but i more so see this for sticking up for yourself standing up for yourself and using your voice and listening to your intuition as well i see a lot of us speaking through creative expression and allowing ourselves to be as creative as possible with this card as well and that's a beautiful thing too 
the dreamer it says embrace your true purpose begin a new adventure and trust yourself we were just talking about how you're beginning a new adventure stepping out of your comfort zone and starting to welcome in your new blessings that's exactly what's happening right now and it's a blessing it really is a blessing guys i know you've been comfortable and if you think about it you really haven't been that comfortable anymore it's kind of been uncomfortable for a while because you desire more so this next stage is going to be that more that you were looking for the more that you were praying for so welcome it in with gratitude five of autumn the number five talks about big positive changes coming to you i also have a five 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 angel number video on my uh angel number playlist you can check that out um i also have it on my website and all that y'all 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 know what to do go check out my website <laughs> all of that but yeah reach out to others for assistance this is a poor timing for a career change so when i see poor timing for a career change this is more so saying with where your business mindset is continue to expand on that this doesn't mean that if you're offered a job that you really want don't take it this is saying where your business mindset is don't change it just grow it okay i normally don't say that but <laughs> that's what's that's the message that i'm getting today feeling challenged by money issues a lot of us may be challenged by money issues feeling like we can't take that new job because it doesn't pay as much or we can't take that new journey because we don't know what we're going to be offered in the long run don't be scared know that your guides are they're leading you on this journey so really just be patient okay and know that money will come money will come as long as you are resonating with your spirit money will come Unity says do the right thing for the right reasons while we we're just kind of talking about that like resonate with your sphere first and the money will come complete com <laughs> compare traditional versus new approaches to see what works for you a spiritually minded community so you're connecting to spiritually like-minded people and that's a blessing as well guys you're being blessed so so much right now in this stage of your life and I am really looking forward to it for you because you really do deserve it. I feel like a lot of us have felt alone and stuck and stagnant and just confused, but you are being blessed abundantly, guys. This new stage of your life is bringing such joy, such, such optimism, such fulfillment to you that it will make sense why you sat here and you were confused because you never knew it would look like this. You never knew it would be, would be so beautiful. That's what's happening, guys. Oh, I'm so happy for you because you really do deserve this. You deserve this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this resonated with you. If you'd like to be a part of the Full Moon Gathering this month or next month, you can go to my website, linamysticoracle.com, and go to services, courses, and seminars. And that's my son crying. <laughs> and you can also purchase a personal intuitive session with me on my website too or crystal sage palo santo all that good stuff and i love you guys i cannot wait to speak to you again and i will be doing more videos like this where we just talk about the energy that's happening right now because i feel like it's very necessary to know where our next stages are headed make sure you like share subscribe and comment down below and i will see you guys another time <laughs>